They weren't looking to fight a war. They were just trying to make movies sound better. But deep inside a Kyiv tech startup, the lines between art and warfare blurred the moment Russia's missiles crossed Ukraine's borders. It began quietly, like most revolutions do. No explosions, no gunfire. Just a group of engineers huddled around computers, listening. Listening to noise, listening for patterns, listening for something no human ear could pick out in time to save a life. And that is exactly where this war took a sharp, unconfidence train Jackson Maluvin because the first real breakthrough in Ukraine's defensive strategy didn't come from tanks or warplanes. It came from a voice. The same AI technology used to recreate Darth Vader for the big screen is now being used to stop cruise missiles mid-flight. And what you're about to hear is one of the most underreported, underestimated, and frankly, unbelievable stories in modern warfare. It is a war that is being fought, and sometimes won, not with bullets, but with sound. And it all starts with a company called Respeecher. Respeecher was never designed to be a military contractor. In fact, it was born in the world of cinema. The founders built machine learning tools to clone voices, good enough to fool even Hollywood sound editors. Their systems could model speech tone, cadence, and accent with uncanny precision. But when the full-scale invasion began in 2022, everything changed. Overnight, they went from mastering sound for entertainment to decoding sound for survival. Here's the twist. The algorithms they had trained for years to mimic human voices had one overlooked superpower. They weren't just good at creating audio, they were excellent at recognizing it. Because buried inside every engine roar, every whirring drone, every streaking missile is a unique acoustic fingerprint. And just like with human voices, AI could learn to tell them apart. With help from Ukraine's territorial defense and an engineering firm called i3, Respeecher began a crash project to build a real-time audio detection grid capable of spotting threats before radar could even register them. The prototype was basic, a metal dish, a sensitive microphone, a boxy computer rig running on barely more than a laptop's worth of power. It looked almost crude, but functionally, it was a revolution. They called it Zvuk, Ukrainian for sound, and its mission was as simple as it was impossible. Hear the enemy before the enemy strikes. But here's the catch. Most of the noise in any battlefield or Ukrainian countryside, for that matter, is not war. It's dogs barking, wind rustling wheat fields, cows, cars, chainsaws, insects, static, soldiers yelling, generators running. Missile sounds, drone engines, artillery fire, those made up less than 1% of what the system heard. Yet that was the sliver of audio the AI had to learn to spot with life or death accuracy. Early models failed constantly. At best, they guessed right half a time. But the team didn't quit. They trained it with real audio from active war zones collected by soldiers under fire in frontline trenches and at forward observation posts. And slowly, painfully, the software began to understand. Not just what a Shahed drone sounds like, but how it sounds at low altitude versus high. Not just what an S-300 missile launch sounds like, but how that sound changes across terrain. Within hours of its first field test, Zvok detected a Russian cruise missile hurtling toward a Ukrainian position. Four hours. That's how long it took for the system to prove that acoustic defense wasn't science fiction anymore. But that was just the beginning. Zvok wasn't built in a military lab. It was assembled in a garage. Literally. In garages across Ukraine, volunteers and off-duty engineers took schematics, soldering irons, and scrap parts and began building sound sensors by hand. They mounted them on poles. They zip-tied them to rooftops. Some even placed them inside flower pots or birdhouses to keep them hidden. It wasn't a defense project, it was a movement. By mid-2023, over 500 of these improvised acoustic stations had been deployed across Ukraine's most vulnerable regions. And though the hardware looked like something out of a DIY tech club, the software behind it was quietly changing the way air defense worked. Here's why that matters. Most traditional missile defense systems rely on radar. But radar has a catch. It only sees what's above the horizon. That means low-flying drones or terrain-hugging cruise missiles can slip by unnoticed until they're dangerously close. Zvuk doesn't have that problem. Sound travels through walls, through fog, through terrain, and that gives acoustic sensors a strange, almost supernatural edge. They can hear what other systems can't see. 
From the moment a Russian missile launches, it makes noise. Unique, trackable, mechanical noise. And if even one Zvuk sensor hears it, the AI can guess what it is. But if two or three sensors hear it, the AI can triangulate. That means location. That means direction. That means speed. That means time to impact in seconds. And the response? That's where this gets even more impressive. Zvuk doesn't just alert commanders. It plugs directly into Ukraine's civilian air raid network. Once a missile is detected, a warning is pushed to phones, sirens, and emergency systems in the exact district it's headed for. Not the whole city, not the whole oblast, just the part that's about to be hit. This hyper-local warning system has become the difference between a quiet night and a mass casualty event. One missile strike, one block, a few seconds of advance notice. That's all it takes to save hundreds of lives. And Zvuk is delivering that time again and again. But here's the twist. Zvuk doesn't just hear what's coming. It learns. Every time it listens, it gets smarter. And every time Russia changes tactics, switching drone models, altering flight paths, even muffling engines, the AI adapts. It rewires itself on the fly. And that creates a kind of arms race, a silent one. One side evolves its noise, the other evolves its ear. By late 2023, Ukraine's acoustic defense had already identified over 70 unique threat profiles. Shahed drones, Kaliber missiles, S-300s, Iskanders, glide bombs, helicopter classes, each with their own sonic fingerprint. And in some regions, acoustic warnings were going out before the first blip even appeared on radar. All this from a system built by civilians powered by software originally designed to make Luke Skywalker sound like himself. But as sophisticated as the technology is, Zvuk's greatest strength might be human. Its ability to bring together coders, soldiers, hackers, artists, and volunteers into one coherent defense system. The Russians never saw it coming. And in war, surprise is everything. But Zvuk isn't just about warning sirens or missile alerts. It's becoming something more something far bigger. They thought Zvuk was just another early warning system, another blip in Ukraine's improvisational defense playbook. But by early 2024, it had evolved into something far more ambitious. Zvuk was no longer just listening to war. It was beginning to orchestrate it. Let me explain. When a missile is launched, the battle for response isn't measured in minutes. It's measured in micro decisions a chain of thousands of split-second moves. Do we launch interceptors? Which ones? From where? How many? What if this is a decoy? What if there are 10 more coming right behind it? Zvuk doesn't just feed information into a radar room anymore. It feeds an ecosystem. Because what began as a garage-built acoustic array is now connected to everything. To radar, to satellite uplinks, to infrared sensors, to mobile apps, to NATO intelligence, to drone interceptors that take off automatically. This is no longer about detecting missiles. It's about managing the entire kill chain with a neural network that never sleeps, never hesitates, never panics. And here's the wildest part. Zvuk isn't centralized. It's distributed across servers, across laptops, across cloud systems and mobile nodes, meaning you can't bomb it. You can't jam it. You can't decapitate it with a single cyber strike. It's like trying to kill a sound by smashing one speaker, while a thousand others keep playing the song. In war, decentralization is survival, and Zvuk was designed with that in mind from the beginning. But it didn't stop at defense. By mid-2024, Zvuk's AI models began feeding acoustic intelligence back into the battlefield. Frontline units started getting alerts. Heavy armor mobilizing 12 clicks northwest. Engine profile matches T90M, approximate count 6, ETA 23 minutes. Or inbound rotary ring aircraft, likely K52. Countermeasures advised, launch window 90 seconds. Zvuk wasn't just intercepting missiles. It was tracking tanks before they appeared on satellite, hearing helicopters before their rotors cleared the tree line, flagging threats too subtle, too quiet, too new for any other system to recognize. And in some cases, it was predicting attacks before they even launched. Because when you have hundreds of sensors listening 24-7, analyzing vibrations, air pressure, echoes, and machine harmonics, you begin to notice patterns, unusual engine tests, 
increased drone traffic at certain depots, shifts in background noise that hint at a convoy redding up 30 kilometers away. To the untrained ear, it's chaos. To Zivuk, it's choreography. This is what modern warfare looks like now. Not just missiles versus shields, but algorithms versus algorithms. A symphony of sound and silence, where every signal tells a story and the AI of that understands it first wins. But let's go deeper. Let's talk about the most surreal part of this entire system. Zivuk has no operator manual, no official doctrine, no Pentagon strategy paper explaining how to use it. It was invented during a war by people who weren't supposed to be at war. And that's why it works. Because in a world where Russian missiles cost millions and Western interceptors cost just as much, Zivuk costs a few thousand dollars, a 3D printer, and a fiber mic. It flips the economics of war upside down. Instead of outspending the enemy, Zivuk outlearns them. Instead of chasing every drone in the sky, it predicts where they'll go. Instead of waiting for a missile to show up on radar, it hears the ignition in real time. And most terrifyingly for the enemy, Zivuk keeps getting better. Every launch, every strike, every sound, they're all being recorded, labeled, learned. Every false alarm, processed. Every new drone engine, profiled. Every shahed with a muffler or altered propeller, cataloged. It's a feedback loop. The longer the war drags on, the stronger Zivuk becomes. Until one day, maybe soon, it won't just warn civilians of an incoming missile. It'll trigger an AI-controlled drone swarm. It'll light up targets in real time for HIMAR strikes. It'll coordinate anti-air units without a single human call. It'll intercept bombers while they're still forming up across the order. They will own the soundscape of war. And when that happens, when you can no longer hide your weapons, your movements, or your machines behind silence, you lose the element of surprise. You lose initiative. You lose control. Zivuk is not the future of defense. It's the beginning of acoustic supremacy. And for the first time in modern history, a nation under siege might be the one to invent the warfare of tomorrow.